Got new information from police. Claire and police are telling us all the kids who were riding this school bus here this afternoon around 215 that you see crashed up into the side of that home. All of those students are OK. There were 13 middle schoolers from Kip Middle School. Their parents have since come and picked them up. I want to walk you back through exactly what happened here. Police are saying there were some people in a black SUV who were driving here on Floyd and North City who were shooting at two of the people in the red car. Neighbors say uh, that basically this whole thing was going down. At least 10 gunshots rang out in their neighborhood. Well, police are telling us the red car is trying to avoid those bullets, and that's when the car crashed into the bus, which then crashed into the side of the home that you were just now seeing. So again, all 13 students on that bus were okay, just very shaken up. The bus driver busted her chin and was taken to the hospital. Police say the driver of the red car was shot, and the man she was with has a broken arm. Both, though, are expected to be okay. Like I mentioned, and as you can imagine, neighbors and police, though, are frustrated right now that a school bus full of middle school students got caught in the middle of this gun battle. It's very unfortunate. You know, it, it's, it's sad that the children have to go through this. Um, it's something that we fight against every day. So, you know, we're doing everything that we can um, through a lot of things that the chief is doing, you know, to try to make it better for kids just like that. Back out here live, police right now searching this area, trying to see if there's any possible surveillance or witnesses. They say that black SUV that was shooting at the red car took off, and at this point, they don't have any vehicle description, and they also don't exactly know who they're looking for at this point. Police also mentioned there was a fourth person who showed up at the hospital who had been shot. They're saying they're still trying to piece together if that person was in any way involved with this scene here earlier this afternoon. Live in North City, Kim St. Ange, News 4. This was certainly a frightening scene that unfolded for those who witnessed it this afternoon. Our Russell Kinsall continues our live team coverage right now after talking with those, Russell, who helped those involved in this. Yeah, and I can tell you those folks, the people who live on this, this street, are in shock over what happened. When they heard that bus strike the house, they heard gunshots. People that live on the street ran to go help. And as we've heard, none of the students was shot, but they certainly have bumps and bruises because of the experience that they went through. So I talked with Dr. Art McCoy, superintendent of the Jennings School District, who said he was nearby and he heard the rolling gun battle. People that live on the street say there were dozens of shots fired and they believe assault rifles were involved. The bus hit that house. People ran to help. They were very concerned about the bus driver because she was losing a lot of blood from that injury to her chin, but they were able to assist her and try to help stem the bleeding. They also were comforting the kids and trying to get them into a home nearby so that they could be safe. And then there was another round of gunshots, and that's where they believe that fourth woman that showed up at the hospital. A young adult woman was shot in the leg whenever more gunshots rang out. Now, I talked with a student who was on the bus, and here's how he described what happened. Next thing I know, I, know, I hear a boom, like just a big smash. Then I fell to the other side of the bus, hit my side on the seat. Then the bus ran to the house, hit the tree and stuff, and I went forward. Like the seat was like right here when I went forward and then And did you hear the gunshots? Yes, I was right there. So we all got off the bus. Yeah, me and my mom was standing right there where the truck at and then it was some it was a dude, I believe it was in a gray shirt gray jacket. And then he just started shooting straight. Just well, he was just like shooting like this, just shooting. Then me and my mom ran, but I ran on the side of that house right there. Well, certainly there were students and adults, there were eyewitnesses, but police are checking with neighbors that live around here to find some video to help them figure out who it was in that other car shooting. News 4's Ashley Lincoln has been working on that part of the story and is joining us now live. Well, Russell, we've been speaking with business owners in this area and residents who are all disturbed about these details. Now, we spoke with employees who work in this China Chop Suey restaurant who heard the gunshots and believe that they got surveillance video of that vehicle leaving the scene. Now, those employees told us they heard that first gunshot. They came to the window, saw the bus crash. One employee who was in this parking lot to the right of me and Chuck was sitting right here 
here waiting to turn right where he says he saw what he believes is a Jeep compass. We have a shot of that. We're going to put that up on the screen so you can see that. He says the Jeep compass was coming down the street, made a right, was heading on West Florissant, ran through the um, red light here at Goodfellow, and he says he heard some of those gunshots coming from that vehicle. As you can imagine, a lot of people are disturbed by these details. We, of course, are going to try to get more information regarding this, and we'll continue to bring you updates here on News 4. Reporting live, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.